Greetings and salutations, viewers of Game Guys. Welcome back to Kato's Corners. I am Sun Coach Kato, and I am still the Goat Man with Terrence as our special guest. Now, last time I, ass I assisted Millicent, we defeated the Edge Lords of the Swamp, and I acquired the ever so lovely Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. Greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. Now. With a paired weapon, such as Rolana's Twin Blades. This first attack, so that first swipe will do the normal damage, but that second swipe, and every subsequent swipe after that will do increased damage. So, base damage, increase, 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 increase. So as I'm doing these consistent attacks, the damage is scaling higher and higher. Essentially, that's what this is talisman does it's only effective if you're use if you if you have like a multi-strike attack type weapon such as a paired weapon and i believe this also scales with uh weapon arts multi-hit with weapon arts as well and of course we have this so i can wear goat armor that's just a classic okay now so we got the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. Now it's time to go back to Faramazula. We're going to the Dragon Temple. Because now we gotta go get another talisman. Oh, that's right. We still have to fight the Godskin duo. Not a problem. And here we go. So we're going to use the columns. And we're going to try and focus one guy. Most likely it's going to be the big guy since he tends to be the most aggressive. Yep. I'm already doing more damage with this talisman consistently. Ow. Oh, yeah. He likes to do that roly poly oly bullshit. All right, take a heals. So, even though... So, I'm starting to... So, last time I was talking about some of Miyazaki's asshole game design. But then you look at this fight and you think, well, here's the thing. Yeah, he you're outnumbered, but he gives you pillars to work with. If he really was an asshole, he would have he would have made this like a completely empty room. But he gives us pillars that we can work around. Whoopsie doodles. I'm almost okay. Ow. Take a double sippy. Owie. I'm gonna take another sippy. Ooh. Cool. Double sippy, because another one's gonna get summoned. Well, not double sippy. Oh, come the fuck on! Okay, that shit's gotta stop. That whole enemies can attack through solid objects, but the player can't. Ooh. Woo! Let me just double sippy here. I'm not gonna double sippy. I've been lying about that. And the god skin duo has been vanquished. Victory flame dance! Woo! And I get this. Oh, but this is a really cool item here. Now I. Oh, black flame tornado. I forgot about that. Nah. Maybe some. Maybe maybe some other time. I'm already set in my ways. Did I ever talk to Alexander at the mountain? I guess we'll find out. 
Yes, we're gonna go fight Alexander next. We're going for the Shard of Alexander Talisman because I might go back to this. I want to experiment between doing this play style and this play style. I may have to sacrifice goat armor, but I do what I need to do. Right, we have to go down this way first. You know what, I think I can experiment with this right now. Here's what we can do. Instead of this, let's go with this. Wait, am I heavy? I'm still medium, good. Oh, it's instant now. Rolana's, Rolana's uh, cameo. Okay, so here's, so enhances attacks, execute after maintaining the same stance for a while. So, I'm pretty sure this also got buffed because I remember, so when you, when you hold down your stance button, see the little red aura that just kind of appears? That used to take like an extra second to appear, but now appears almost instantly, not quite instantly. So here, if I take this off, we go into the stance. All right, you don't see the, the little, the little red yellow, the, not the yellow, the red glowies. It's kind of hard to see with the particle effects, but then I equip Rolano's cameo. Almost instantly, you get the red, the red glowies, the little subtle red glowies. That used to take like an extra second to charge up. I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but in Shadow of the Erd Tree and late game uh, boss fights where they're just constantly aggressive and gap closing, an extra second for this to charge up makes it unviable in boss fights. Nice. So, I, w I originally had this build in planned in mind before Rolana's Twin Blades and the Talisman got buffed because this shit was just... Well, here's the thing. Rolana, oh, let me let me specify. Rolana's cameo was not viable because it took too long to charge up. It was just it was just a difficult build to pull off because you had to really time the weapon art. If you're making use of the damage boost with Rolana's cameo, which is ultimately what makes this build super de duper. This was the weapon I had in mind since the start of this playthrough, but I wasn't entirely sure exactly how I was going to go about this in conjunction with the Shadow Realm. Is. So, this is a solid build that I found worked for me when I did my playthrough in Shadow of the Air Tree, but with the new buffs, I'm going to be switching things around. Flexibility is important, not just in gaming, but in life. Especially with patch updates making the cool shit more viable and better to use. Do I go this way or do I go this way? I believe I go this way. And... Goodbye. This is where we need to go. I forgot I needed stone sword keys. What do I have? Oh, I am packed, baby. Let's go. Now, if Alexander is not here, then I probably need to talk to him at a different location. As long as you don't kill Alexander prior to meeting him here, you won't soft lock out of getting the talisman. Oh, hey, Non. Well, here, let me rest. Okay, so we actually need to go this way. And I believe we go this way. Uh, okay, I was incorrect. We go back this way. Yeah, he fell. I'll pick up these items just so I can determine if I've been here already. Go around this way. I'm trying to find Alexander's final location. I thought I remembered, but I may need to consult the directory. 
Oh, that's got some pep in its step. Wait a minute. Give me a moment while I look for the jar man. Okay, so maybe I do need to go up here. Okay, so I was correct originally. I needed to go this way. I suspect. I'm sure I will have, I'll probably get to him by the end of this episode. But leave a comment below if you're just as frustrated that... Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to pick this up. It, it's orange. It's obviously important. Ooh. What? Wait, 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 wait. They fucking regurgitate. I'm just gonna move on. Oh, I think there's a larval tier here as well. Well, that's not it. Ow. Ow. A lot of dudes here. Here, let me just chug this. And then... You become the dancer. Uh, uh, give me a moment. Uh, I got a tummy ache. Uh, uh, I actually have a tummy ache, but I'm still gaming because I can't lose my gamer card now. I'm so close to achieving... Uh, okay, it's starting to pass now. And I found the jar. I found Alexander, good boy jar. In a second, Alexander. I have to... Ooh. I have 200,000 runes. I can't fuck this up. He does hit hard. Well fought, buddy. Yes, he did. Alexander the Great Jar Warrior, you got your warrior's death. And I got the shard of Alexander. Rest in peace. Battle buddy. Alexander the Warrior Jar is by far probably one of my favorite characters, not just in Elden Ring, but in the entire Soulsborne franchise. I'd even put him in the top five. Who are the other four characters in my top five besides Alexander Warrior Jar? Leave a comment below what you think that could be. And also leave a comment below who some of your favorite, not just Elden Ring, but other Soulsborne characters. So Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Demons, Souls, all that good shit. Anyways, now I'm going to equip the Shard of Alexander. Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Shard of Alexander, Rolana's Cameo. This one here, I want to replace with the green, the twin-headed green turtle talisman. The issue is, I have to give up goat armor. I need it for goat armor. I can't give up goat armor. It's goat armor. Well, anyways. Let's move on. One second! I must consult the directory. Right, after consulting the directory, it's time to make our way back to the Shadow Realm. I need to start marking where I pick up larval tears. All right, we're off to the first location. I've already picked up a few of these larval tears, so... Ooh. Maybe double dip in here a bit. All right, and let's mark this. I'll put diamonds for the tears. Let me see if there's one over here. And now I have two larval tears. Most excellent indeed. Okay. Now, before I do any kind of respecking, I do want to try out this against the next Shadow of the Realm. 
I believe I was fighting the hippo. Yes, it was the hippo. Okay, so we don't... I will use this. Rotten Wing, Sword Insignia, Green Turtle. We don't... Yeah, we're not using Rolanas either, so let's just get four. Yep, extra health. And then let's switch out the Physic. And we're gonna go with the Poise Boost. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna slug it right away. Yep, he's a feisty one, as I remembered. Ooh. Ooh, he did the second one. Look at those insides. Try again. I forgot to spend my runes. Now I gotta beat him. God, this is how much damage he does in, like, full goat's armor. Well, not full goat's armor exactly, but still. Fuck me for, like, wanting to take hits, I guess. I forgot to spend my goddamn runes. Mm -hmm. What does it take for a level up? That was, like, that's, like, two level ups. Uh... I know I don't talk a lot during these epic boss fights. It's because I need to maintain focus. Focus. You ever wonder why streamers just stay fucking quiet during intense boss fights? It's because they need to fucking focus. It's hard to be... Come on, come on, let's focus. You fuck. Ah, you miss. You gotta weave the attacks in. With dodging. That seems to be... There we go. Oh, I think I know why I'm doing less damage. Hulk damage seems to be doing really good. Fucking cock fuck. Hmm. Alright, goat armor is starting to feel less and less worth it if I can't even soak a few hits here and there. Of course, then again, if I'm not wearing goat's armor, this guy would probably kill me in, what, three hits? This is so fucking annoying. Actually, he kills me in three hit hits with goat's armor. The fuck is the point of wearing bulky armor if you can't even take the hits? We're gonna try something. I think the fire has potential. That has a lot of potential. Yeah, I think now that this weapon got buffed and that Rolana's cameo procs at a much more reasonable rate. Let's give that another I got two larval tears, I can always go back to this if I need to. Alright, well you know what? Let's let's do it. I wanna be a fire dancer boy, so let's actually spec for fire. The hippos also kinda piss me off and I just wanna fucking get past him, so let's let's go. F first I need to check what the weapon equipment stats are. So strength, it's 13, 16, 16, 16. Okay, so strength needs to be at 13. Okay, yeah, it's all, it's all gonna be at 16. 16, 16, 16, 16, so we can fulfill the weapon requirements. We get this back to 50. Get this to 30. 
for an endurance to 25. Because the faith will boost the fire attack. Minimum stat requirements. We're not going to be able to wield goat's armor because we need to put points into mind. We need to keep vigor at 50. Just I will not do Shadow Realm less than 50 vigor. But I'm going to make this Fire Dancer build work. It just takes practice and timing. Let's bring it to 36. Yeah, let's have... Okay, so Vigor 50, Mind 30. Bring an Endurance down to 25. Minimum Strength, Dex, Intelligence requirements. And then our Faith's at 36. We're going to get our Faith up to 50. We'll just get our Faith up to 50. We'll get Mind up to 40. We're going to make 25 Endurance work. I'll probably throw in Great Jar's Arsenal just so I can equip beefier armor with a lower Endurance. But Fire Dancer, I think, has... Now that the weapon's been buffed... And they can probably compete against the, the the BS boss fights of the Shadow Realm. They feel like bullshit sometimes. It, it, that's just how I, as the player, feel. So 50, 30, 25. 36 faith for the fire damage. I like, what, plus 31 at bonus fire damage? Let's see how much this gives me. Wow. It's only a plus 30 fire damage. Okay. And I lost a shitload of physical... T yeah, but then again, that extra 30 points of fire damage, I think, honestly, we're better off just doing a split. Yeah, but if I'm only going to focus on... Maybe we do both. Split, do int and faith, do the int faith split. I'm just going to go with this for now. Let's see what happens. In addition, Rolanda's cameo, Shard of Alexander... Okay, so after consulting the directory for a little while, it has come to my attention. You know what, let's see if the fire thing works. I'm gonna try it. All right, let's see how this works out. So we have Rolana's cameo, Shard of Alexander, Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Green Turtle Talisman, and this. Yeah. This is some solid damage. Although... Getting wrecked like that is not exactly what I consider a good time. Whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, fuck! Ah, dicks. All right, this build has promise. Fuck off. All right, I think this kills me, yep. It has promise. How long does it take for this to build up again? Like, almost instantly. You gotta give it like a half a second, though. It used to take much longer, which is why I just refuse to even use it. All right, he's going into porcupine mode. Ah, uh, he did the bullshit. All right, I need to sip twice. I'll do this while I have the space and the time. No! I meant to go to the side. Ah, uh, I was getting ready to dodge that. Can you please, at least in the Shadow Realm, increase the drink speed, Miyazaki? You make these hyper-aggressive boss fights, and then you don't even give us that same, like, hyper-aggression courtesy.
Yeah. It really just kind of comes down to just memorizing the boss attack patterns. Because even the best builds, if you don't play it correctly, you're still going to get dicked. This game demands time and patience to get good. That's really what it boils down to. Because it doesn't hold your hand and because it, you can't just press the same two or three buttons to win. Well, I guess you can if you set up the build correctly. But, you know, if you're ever getting frustrated at these games, you're losing time and time again, just remember... The game expects you to take time to study it. If it was an easy mode game, people wouldn't care about it as much. They'd have their little fun and then forget about it. Yeah. I need 10 more Vigor. 50 Vigor is just not enough. One more attempt. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I lost my 200,000 runes. I don't even care at this point. I am just... I just want I'm committing to beating this fuck up. I think this kills me. Yep. God, even with the buffs, like, I'm still just... I gotta just time it better. It's timing. When it comes to these sort of, like, dancer, caster-type builds, it's all about waiting for the opportunity because there is some setup. And with as hyper-aggressive as these bosses tend to be, you need to get the timing down very well. So we'll dodge this. Oh, come the fuck on! Fuck off with the bullshit hitboxes! Fix your goddamn hitboxes, FromSoft. I'm tired of losing fights because of your bullshit game design. Because you can't get the hitbox. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I'm just frustrated that I died of bullshit. Good. You know what we're gonna do here? The same fucking thing! a half second. I'm just going to beat him up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I didn't have time to drink, like, two flavors of Gatorade, so I just went for it. And we get a scatter tree. We get two scatter tree fragments. All right, well, I lost 200,000 runes, but I... So, technically, I, I broke even a little bit. Okay. To conclude today's episode, I am going to rest. Let's go ahead and get our scatter tree blessing up. Hip, hip, hooray. We shall level up. Anyways, next time on Game Guys.